Well, this was my first attempt at coating a cup with resin. I used an old, 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 extremely old bit of easy cast epoxy transparent blah 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 which was no longer transparent it was actually brown it was so old and i actually just mixed it all together in the which one is this one the hardener bottle so it, it actually i think together they filled it up to right about where my thumb is. And then I mixed, whatever that word is, I guess that's pearl reflex violet color from Hobby Lobby. Anyway, not much of that. I mean, just a small, small amount. But I used it all on there. This is an, a rod turner that I have and I used a wire to lay across the top to smooth it out across it same at the bottom and then after it got to spinning good I took a lighter and run it to get the bubbles out which I don't know how well they did this is just a this is just a test uh, I really want to want to make one of these for real but I used old resin and testing out the rod turner because I hadn't used it in years either. And uh, just to see how well this comes out. Uh, if it comes out pretty good, then next one will be the actual cup. Uh, if this even hardens, I don't know if it will. Um, I would guesstimate this is probably 10 years old. <laughs> maybe <laughs> anyway uh looking good i mean it was looking extremely good this little streak right here that is light disappeared when i run the the lighter underneath it i guess that then the mixture out and then it really starts flowing when you run the lighter under it but running a lighter under it and and i got the black streaks in it and I think that was probably due to just this uh, lighter's, I don't know, just jump from the lighter or something. But running a lighter under epoxy while it turns is a trick used with rod turning. After you uh, seal your string on each one of your eyes, if you have bubbles, put a little flame to it as it spins, and the bubbles disappear they rise to the surface and they're gone uh this right here see that's pretty doggone level and smooth so i don't think i'll even have to put it on the lathe and turn it and smooth it out anymore i think that'll be sufficient just like that there's a couple spots down here at the end there you see the dents and everything but down here at the end uh, that see-through plus it doesn't it's not filled out good right here where it's clear see-through and here it's the very rim which I think the rim would be good to stay that way I'm not sure I don't know I really like the way the streaks come in there uh, after using the lighter on it I hope I can duplicate that on the real one so what I may try to do on the other one is multiple coats try to get a real thin coat on it and then cover a secondary coat. So I may just not be too concerned about how well the first coat looks on my actual, for sure enough one. Anyway, uh, so I end up being a Christmas present for my wife. Hopefully it is one that comes out in real life as well as I can see it in my head right now. All right, it's enough babbling.